hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i am going to show you how to configure install and use react router in your react application so first of all you need to know about what is react router so react router is a powerful uh, routing library built on the top of react that helps you to add new screen and flows to your application so fast so i'm going to demonstrate first so what is a react router first so let me go for my website if you see here if i click on about so it shows me the about component only if i click on projects it shows the projects component only so this is what routing is so i've created one uh, react application so let me go for react router demo and let me start my react application So this would start my application. Let me close this one. And let me start writing code for React Routing. So before writing React Router code, you need to install one dependency and the name of the dependency is React Router DOM. So for that, just type uh, npm install React Router DOM. So this would install the React Router DOM. Yeah. So so this has installed the React Router DOM. React DOM. And let me start writing code in my source folder. So let me create one component. Uh, router demo .js and let me create one uh, functional component class component rcc yeah so this is class component or you can just create a functional component r a f c e so this is the snippet i'm getting from one dependence and uh, one uh, extension called es7 react so you need to install this extension for just uh, getting this snippets and i have already installed the uh, react router dom so i can import uh, browse browser router as so we will be using a router route and switch and also the link so this link works like as brief in html so we will be using later on the session so from the dependency we have just installed react router dom and let me create so the everything we will be writing here is included under router so let me first write router and let me create the link so this link works like a a as ref so we will be creating uh, three components so type two and just give the path so just if i just route to this path i will be getting the i will be getting the home component so this is home and if we click on home we will be getting the home component and next is i'm going to import two and let me create about so this is for about component so if i click on about it would it should uh, get me into the about component so we will be importing the component in uh, switch and route so after some time so this i'm just configuring the path only here so two and just let me give users and we will be also creating the users component as well so these are just for links now let me write for switch and let me give the route and inside the route we have to import the component and let me give path as well so this uh, this path and this path should be similar for the component so path here is 
means let me give the path as less home so let me give this one as well home home and let me make one component here and let me call it home.js and let's make one class component or functional component i'm going to make one functional component and let me call this one h1 home and let me give some paragraph here this is home com component and let me import that home component here so let's write home and slash so it's, it has imported the home component directly so let me do the same thing again for about and users so i will be writing the code here path and slash so it's about and let me let me create another component about here about the js and let me make a functional component here and let me give the same thing again about and let me give paragraph this is about me and let me import the about component here as well about yeah, it has imported automatically here so let me do the same thing again for for users as well uh, slash users and let me make one component here and let me call it users.js let me make functional component here and let me call this one users and let's give some users name uh, origin and let's give other username hurry and let me give other username ram and let's make this one on our list and let me paste it here and let me click Control Alt L to make this one formatted. I don't know why is it not working. Okay, Control Shift I makes it in Visual Studio Code. So let me do the same thing again. Control Shift I so that it looks quite formatted here. And let me import the same component users users here now if i go to the application it's already been running here if i go here in the application and if i refresh this application okay we need to import this uh, router demo into our app.js first so let me uh, clear the header section here and let me import the router demo application to the app.js so it has imported automatically here let me clear this one so that we won't get any warnings so it has imported the router demo here so let me go to this link and if i click on home if i click on home so this should show the home component if i click on users or about so this should show the component like this so let me format this one a little bit so that we could see a little bit nicer view and let me paste it here and let me give this one a list so inside this list i will copy the list here and again i will do the same thing for this two as well list and another list so if 
just copy this one here and paste it here let me cut this one and paste it here and let me click ctrl shift i to make a little formatted and if i go to here so it looks quite good here if i click on home this would uh, load to the home component if i click on about it loads about component if i click on users so this uh, loads the user component so this is how you use your uh, react router thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe my channel